Welcome back to my channel. This week we have ventured outside of the UK and today we are in Berlin. Say hello mom. Hello. We're here in Berlin. Okay. Berlin East and West divide during the Cold War. We found this little sector, which is, I think, is a Russian sector at Checkpoint Charlie. As you can see, and there is a part of the wall here, which is a segment of the wall of the fourth generation, and at the same time of the first wall in world history to be mass produced. And there it is. Checkpoint Charlie became the symbol of the Cold War, representing the separation of East and West. Soviet and American tanks briefly faced each other at a location during the Berlin crisis of 1961. The memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe in the middle of Berlin is Germany's Central Holocaust Memorial, a place of remembrance and commemoration for the up to 6 million Jewish victims of the Holocaust. This is the Reichstag building. This is where the German lower assembly meet, which is called the Bundestag. Berlin's TV tower at Alexanderplatz is not just a literally must-see site. It is the highest building in Europe open to the general public. The Berliner Dome is one of the main landmarks in Berlin's cityscape and marks the spot of the impressive basilica housing the city's most important Protestant church. The Berlin Olympic Stadium was built between 1934 and 1936 well, and acted as the centerpiece for the Berlin Olympics. It was officially opened on August 1st and uh, the most notable event at the time was uh, the Afro-American track and field athlete uh, Jesse Owens winning four gold medals in this stage. Berlin's largest palace at Charlottenburg is the highlight of a trip to Berlin for many visitors. The Baroque style of the palace architecture is breathtaking and the sheer size of the palace cannot fail to impress. Inside the elegantly restored staterooms are filled to bursting with priceless antique, porcelain and tableware. The Persian crown jewels are also on display and palace is home to an archaeological museum. Outside visitors are free to stroll through the formal and informal gardens surrounding the palace which provide a haven of peace and tranquility from the hot bustle of Berlin city centre.
The Troban is an automobile produced from 1957 to 1990 by former East German car manufacturer VEB. It is often seen as a symbolic of the former East Germany and the collapse of the Eastern Bloc in general. Next to an iconic Trabant in Berlin, I'd like to do a shout out to my friend Rod Deang, Miss Arceo, and the rest of the CS Batch 80. Berlin and out.